Hi everyone and welcome back! I'm Juliet and welcome to my restorative yoga practice today. This practice is intended to heal, to nurture, to recover and to restore our physical body, emotional body and the mental body. Since it's a lighter version of the practice, it can be an excellent practice for the beginners. As well, it can be a wonderful practice for more advanced practitioners on the days of recovery. You can also use this flow to jumpstart your day. So let's enjoy this practice together. And as always, I will guide you through, guys, and you team will do your best. So let's begin. Alright team, so today we are focusing in our restorative practice on the shoulders, arms and some back. Of course it's a total body, but the focus is shoulders and arms. So let's begin on our belly in a reverse core position. Arms all the way up front, it feels good right away. Put your chin on the floor or you can take the head any other side whichever feels right. So take a good breath, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. And as always, let's get ready for this practice. Let's set an intention to practice with no expectations, lovingly, with open heart, with sensation of curiosity, and with intention to heal and restore our body. So from here, let's gently reach up and start to lift one arm in opposite to that arm leg. We're going to do just a few more to wake up the shoulders, to wake up the hips, to wake up the lower back. Just a few more up here. Up and down and just a couple more, right? and left good work guys so let's go ahead and stretch that body really really nicely and now we're going to practice both hands really really flat we're going to activate the core activate the body hollow the belly really really nicely the core the manipura chakra svadhisthana is very active and draw the navel in push against the floor against the ground with those palms and then gently release it we're going to repeat it two more times reach up inhalation on exhalation pull the navel in guys hold the feet on the floor hollow the belly press the hands into the floor and gently release hold away let's do it one more time in inhalation lift hollow the belly keep on breathing don't hold the breath Hold the asana, press the hands really, really, really nicely into the ground and then gently release, relax, restore chest, back, hips. Very nice. So let's continue to wake up the shoulders. We're going to take the right arm under, left underneath, left on top. If you want to do the other side, that's fine. Just don't forget what you did. And let's put our chin right on top and just rest. Mm -hmm. and give it guys just a few breaths from this side mm -hmm. feels very good and then let's slowly switch the direction cover your left with your right and again just rest up front if you can rest you would have to support yourself just up here just like, just like I'm doing right now. Or take your chin and we'll pop on those ones. And we're just taking a few breaths in. Waking up the shoulders. So we will slowly take your time to move down towards the next asana. You can have your elbows on the floor and your hands on the floor just like that. You can also put your arms up front closer. Let's put our feet up and we will start wind relieving pose like a wind shielding 
the wipers, but on the prone position today. Gentle. If you want to go a little bit faster, you can go a little bit faster. If you want to go a little bit slower, you can go a little bit slower. Just take your time, guys. And make sure that you breathe in. Waking up that lumbar back, that lower back. Mm -hmm. And just a couple more. And let's stop right there. And we're going to move now definitely on our elbows. So your elbows and your feet up and flat. We begin our little variations of the Sphinx in Cobra poses. So feet up, heart up and open, hands on the floor, elbows on the floor. Keep on breathing, guys. Take the chin slightly up, open that heart and continue to breathe. In through that nose and out, guys, through that nose. Great job. Now we're going to bring one leg on the floor and you can hold another one lifted or you can come with me and see if you can lift the knee off the ground. Inhalation through the nose and the exhalation through the nose as well. Keep on breathing. Let's slowly, gently extend that leg. If you guys have to put that leg all the way on the floor because it doesn't flow well in that elbow position, then go ahead and put it on the ground. Keep on breathing. And let's gently release that leg and rest together. We're gonna rest all the way, relax it back. Take a breath or two, and then we're gonna come back on our elbows, bring the feet up again. So hands on the floor, feet up, keep on breathing. In through that nose, out through that nose. When you're ready, guys, let's try to lift one knee off the ground. Release, a, release the other leg, keep on breathing. Very challenging for that back. And just breath or two and then release the other side. Very good. Good job, guys. A few more breaths, don't give up. And then slowly relax and restore. Next time, we're gonna go do always the same, but we will take the hands on the floor and point the elbows back. Point the elbows back, just like this. Take your feet up, open up the chest, keep on breathing. Through the nose in, through the nose out. I need you to activate your upper arms, press your hands really nicely into the floor and lift the knees off the ground if you can do it. If not, don't worry about those knees right now. Keep on breathing, guys. Excellent work. Let's rest together now all the way. We're going to go for the full flow cobra or up dog, whichever you will choose. And we're going to release back on the floor. So flow gently. Use each and every vertebra. Stop when you need. And gently release the forehead on the ground. Reach up. Inhalation. And release. Exhalation. Let's do a couple more. Reach up. Inhalation. And release back. Exhalation. One more time, guys. Reach up. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Move a little bit here and there. Make sure it's comfortable. And the next time, we're going to lay down on the floor. We will be ready, guys, to take our right leg outside and regarding your left you can keep it as this or you can take it a little bit wider so it's slightly wider than 90 degree angle so guys stay right there you just can hold it up here with me right now just like i'm doing now or you have an option to reach a little bit higher in the cobra pose it's definitely more intense it's not really hard, but it's definitely more intense for that back and for the arms and for the shoulders. You really have to 
push against the crowd. If you're doing this variation, make sure that that back is spacious and free of the tendon and we just be in there. We're gonna give it a breath or two. And then slowly, gently release back down and we're gonna roll together on the left side. So that right leg, which was outside, is gonna go right on top. We're gonna pad and prop our head. Try, try to make sure that you don't sink down through the shoulders. And we're gonna go for the right leg, just the one we already worked right now. Little hip circles. One direction, and then other direction. Give it a few more in this one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do kick a little bit front, and kick slightly back. Use the hip, use the lower back, use stability of the core and that one arm is very supportive on the side so we hold a good posture very good now guys this is the same right leg which we were working about right the same leg on and the leg on top we're gonna put it in the tree pose if the tree pose for you is a little bit lower that is okay so you can go just like we do the regular tree pose so we put it in the tree pose and we will try to find a balance here. Whew. Very good. Keep on breathing. On the side, slowly, slowly, slowly. And then gently roll on the pelvic floor, on the front position back. We're going to take this left arm underneath in the right leg, in the right arm, all the way on top. So it's a tree pose kind of in between the side and the prone position. Keep on breathing and just give it a few quality, resting, nurturing breaths for your body. And then we will be ready to repeat very same flow from the other side. So let's take the left leg outside right now. So the left knee 90 degrees ankle behind, take yourself nicely and flat on the belly, move that right leg slightly farther if it feels right and you can stay just right there guys or you can come with me. If you did this on the right side, definitely check it on the left side unless you have some different injuries, right? Keep on breathing, close your eyes and just be here with me. Few more breaths. In through that nose. Out through that nose. Very good. And just one more. Good job, guys. So we will slowly take your time. Roll on the side. So same thing. We're going to roll on the side. We will prop our head with our, with our hand. And we will begin the little hip circles. So just guys doing the same what we did on that right leg. And then reverse the little hip circles all the way through guys. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And let's do a few kicks as we did kick forward and back to activate the back to activate the hips mm -hmm. and just one more very nice then we will gently find the tree pose on the side there is an option to move that bottom leg about guys 45 degrees so that's going to make it a little bit better for your balance and let's take the arm up Excellent job, guys. Activate that core. Activate that core. And then slowly, do not hurry up. We're going to take our left, our right arm underneath and cover it with the left. So the left knee in the tree pose and the left arm is on top. And just lay down there for a few breaths. 
-hmm. and let's slowly release and I will take you to the, our knees we call this uh, downward facing dog on our knees it looks a little bit like um, like anahata asana or, or um, puppy pose we call it also but this time we don't put the chest on the floor but we're gonna hold our arms very active that's why i told you that at this floor we focus in a lot on the arms so i want your tailbone as much as possible guys in between those knees so of course if that is very very challenging for you then you can sit a little bit backwards but that's going to be a little bit different so try to hold the tailbone directly in between the knees and activate those arms so don't think down through the chest even if your shoulders are very very flexible try to press the palms really nicely move the navel in and stay strong guys so simply release your neck so the neck is a continuation of your spine and just hold that body active hold those arms active especially your upper arms guys a few more breaths then from there we will slowly take right arm underneath for more support we're still holding the same position in our knees and the tailbone and by activating the arms again we're going to give, the, give our best to lift the left leg off the ground kneeling downward facing dog position one leg arm support keep on breathing i know guys i know through the nose in, through the nose out, slowly draw the left arm up front of the right. We're going to do a few knee drawings. Push it, connect through the center through the solar plexus. Push it, connect through the center through the solar plexus. Push it up. And again, exhalation. Let's do one more. Beautiful. Put your forehead on the, on the forearms and let's take it back sit back on the heels and just relax we will repeat this flow guys from the other side together very nice come on back up set those knees slightly wider than hips width apart set the tailbone in between the knees so it's not up here it's in between the knees keep those arms very very active draw the navel in keep on breathing guys stay with me through the nose in through the nose out i know active shoulders active arms shoulder blades apart guys and collar bones are wide we will slowly take the left underneath activate the arms and do our best to take our right leg off the floor so the ankle is a continuation of your neck again keep on breathing guys keep on breathing do not give up and then slowly draw the arm the right arm all the way on top on the left and we're gonna do a few knee drawings up and down and up and down just a couple more times guys and take it and take it back send your heels hips on the heels and restore for the breath or two you did really really good it was very strong come on back up and we're ready to go guys on the forearm plank so i need your knees a little bit farther the challenge is with a forearm plank or any other plank a lot of people start to think the hips i want you to think core i want you to think strong pull the navel in and protect your spine so it's not only how it looks but that way you will protect your lower back your lumbar back i need you to activate your arms and shoulders wider back wider collarbones 
And if you want to try, go ahead and take your knees off. You don't have to, you can return them back. You can take them up and bring abdominal wall in. Relax the glutes, don't squeeze the glutes, hollow the belly, guys. Keep the back soft and strong and release this all the way back. So let's go all the way. Bring the hips on the floor. Lift the shoulders off the ground. Open up the back. We're gonna make a transition to the downward facing dog. We're not gonna stay there long today, but make your safe transition. If it has to be done through the tabletop, do it through the tabletop. Both hands are flat, guys. Seat bones and tailbone up and back. If you need to lift your knees, bend, bend your knees and lift your heels, please do it. Your back, as always, is your priority. We're gonna step our left foot, guys, in the center, and we're going to take the right outside. Fold forward, relax your neck, stay connected with your body. Strong upper body, shoulder blades apart, collarbones are wide. Breathe actively, guys. Breathe actively. And let's slowly switch. So we're going to take the left on the floor, right outside, and again, lengthen in the spine and lying down all the way. Both hands are active. Try to level your back, relax your neck. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. A few more breaths up here. In through that nose, out through that nose. Very good job, guys. We're gonna make a gentle transfer towards the kneeling position just up here very good so if that position is not comfortable for you to sit on your feet then just transfer to the simple crest cross like this position we're going to do a few cut and cow poses here just to expand to restore to activate that heart chakra so we after we finish this practice our heart is radiating all this love all this compassion and few more times very good job team and slowly stop right here there's a few shoulder rolls we did a very strong job for our arms and shoulders reach up and open reach up and open now we're going to tuck the toes on the left guys and step on the right up front take your both hands behind activate the arms and shoulders again and stay right here or lift a little bit deeper do not give up stay with me and then gently Come on back and let's switch, guys. Tuck your toes on your right. Bring the left leg up front. You can support yourself with the blocks behind. So stay just up here or lift your glutes slightly off the ankle. Relax the shoulders. Keep on breathing. And first, if you need to make a transition to your knees back, do it. Or if not, come with me for the reverse table top position. We're gonna give it a few breaths. Don't give up, keep the body strong. Arms and shoulders very active here. So make sure it feels right on your wrist. Let's slowly take our body back on the floor. Good job, guys, and give yourself a good good quality hug so seated stuffed pose easy one right easy pose we're gonna take the right behind the right and left outside and just lengthen in that spine keep our heart nice and open keep on breathing and let's slowly reverse it all the way so left behind the left right outside and soft hold 
Very good. Very nurturing half spinal twist for that back. We will finalize our practice today with the little bicycle in the half shoulder stand. If you want to do the full shoulder stand, you can, but today I'm going to do the half shoulder stand. So just like we practiced a couple days ago, our half shoulder stand or knee pressure pose. So it's the same thing. We will begin up here and we will find ourselves in the supported one, in the supported one. So when your hands are supporting your body and then from there, we're going to go ahead and do a little bicycle ride. So it doesn't have to be too low. It doesn't have to be too high. It's about 45 degrees. But the important thing here is do not lock your neck. There is no weight on your neck and head. It's all on the shoulders. And you can see that my voice is not changing in the microphone because I can breathe the same freely versus if I poke my throat, that's gonna be very, very hard. So I need you to breathe and hold the weight on the shoulders. Let's do a couple more. And then gently, slowly, release, both feet on the ground. Take your both hands, guys, behind the head, behind the head, just like this. You can interlock them or you can not and bring your knees on one side and continue to gaze, drift it towards the sky, towards the ceiling. You can close your eyes and your shoulder blades is totally flat on the floor. And then from there, move your both feet up front, butterfly pose or bound ankle, but Hakanasana. Keep gazing up, keep expanding the heart connecting through the hands and then flip the other knee outside. Keep the shoulder blades on the floor. Keep the both feet, both knees together if possible and slowly continue to breathe. And then we will take ourselves all the way to the side or straight forward, whichever feels good for your body. Let's come back to the seated position. Reach all the way through, guys. All the way, like we just woke up. Take the hands up front and all the way up. Sweep them through the sides. Take the both hands up front of our heart as always and look inside. Let's close our eyes just for the second or two. Look inside in that heart. Find the true self, which is always joyful always loving, always forgiving, always there for us, always ready to contribute to other people's lives. So let's draw everything you need inside that heart. Smile with that heart, guys, and flow through the rest of your day with a true, unshakable peace inside. Namaste. I will be thinking of you and I will see you very soon.